All right, we've got the plugs and wires off. I want to go over a few things. I've already found some issues. When you're installing spark plugs and aluminum heads, you do not need to coat the spark plug with anti-seize like it's dripping oil. All right. One, three, five, and seven all have anti-seize down here on the bottom near the electrode and trying to run down the electrode. That's going to be a major tuning issue. But that's just one problem causing another issue. Secondly, number three and number seven spark plug wires are junk. All right, this one is cracked and has been blowing through the arc. So that's causing a misfire. Up here on the top where it was rubbing on that braid line, on number seven, it's cracked. That's causing an arc, causing a tuning problem. And there's the other portion where it's blown out and the arc is coming out of the boot. Again, tuning problems, mechanical. Then, on the right bank, all the plug wires are pretty decent there's no burn through or arc marks but it looks like someone took a pair of pliers or channel or something and tried yanking on them and it's got teeth marks in it now number six and number eight were on the spark plugs on this side but they were not completely seated tuning issue next we're going to get dive into doing the compression and leak down test you can use a jumper relay now is seven revolutions per cylinder is the proper amount to spin the motor over and you're also going to have a minute to two minute intervals in between cycles to let that starter cool off because you can fry it by doing letting the starter being engaged way too long and just trying to go on and go on and go on. Doing any of these tests, you're gonna wanna have, like my little table, a battery charger hooked up to it and giving you some voltage. That way you can perform the test without dragging down the battery and putting SX strain on everything. All right, we got the compression test all wrapped up. And it's pretty decent across the board you know 180 170 on number two number three 180 number four 175 number five 170 number six 180 seven 175 and number eight 190 so that could just be a little different on the gap on the rings or something in that particular cylinder is just seated better but i've got the compression tester and number one just so I can show you and let you hear and I'll conclude the same result. Relay jumper. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Under and eighty. Seven revolutions. There you go guys, so the compression test came out pretty good. I'd expect a little bit more since it's a built motor, but that in the case they didn't go extreme or anything, just good internal parts. We'll see what the leak test shows. Stay tuned.